and read really one lucky pup spending the night at the shelter behind me. Tonight we are getting a first hand look at that rush hour rescue. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Be a good girl. Oh, it was terrified. It was terrified. I'm sure with all the vehicles, uh, it looked like it had walked up from the freeway itself onto the ramp. She's the poster pup for commuter compassion. It's a good girl, huh? It's a good girl. Come on. Uh, that's the little doggy voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the little doggy rescue voice, you know, that, that we try to try, try to calm it down. Nevada Highway Patrol Trooper Chris French and strangers who risked their own lives stopping on Interstate 15 near Washington during rush hour. It's very sweet of him to do that. Crystal Graham narrating it all. Do you have any food? From inside her car. I could tell that there was a lot of people panicking about it. The trooper and strangers worked together to try to corral the canine. Jump up, go inside, get in the car. Maybe it would just jump in my car. At one point, it was almost ready to, but it didn't. Go in the car, come on, come on. The chase leads to a painful moment that you can't quite see, but you can hear. I went to grab onto it, and when I grabbed onto it, uh, it didn't like it. So it uh, turned around and it bit me on my uh, finger. It just nipped me a little bit. Did she get you? Yeah, but I, I can't feel it with the gloves on. Finally, Trooper French manages to get to the frightened pup. Don't let go. Don't let go. Yes. Yes. All right, stop. It's okay. Good job. Scooping her up off the freeway to safety. It's okay. It's okay. So the dog was taken here to the Animal Foundation. She is now in quarantine since she bit the trooper. The staff here at the shelter still looking for her owner. No luck as of yet. Kelsey Thomas.